This is the Baum Guitars Leaper Tone, a semi-hollow, mini humbucker loaded, Bigsby rocking guitar that oozes tones and class. We're gonna get some clean tones with this, some dirty tones, and then at the end we'll have a bit more fun with a few more effects. Truth be told, I've always wanted an ES-335. They're a dream guitar for me, but also always been a bit unobtaining because they probably will always be, and they always have been, the most expensive standard Gibson that you can buy. So I'm literally always on the hunt for alternative semi-hollow electric guitars. And I think I might have found the best one yet. Hopefully you guys know I checked out another Baum guitar at the end of last year. That one was from their most accessible range, the Vega series. This one, however, is from their original series, which is sort of their flagship main range. Basically the most premium guitars that Baum make before you get to custom stuff or one-off stuff. But still I would say incredibly good value. Uh, the Leaper Tone is about 1700 euros, but I think once you start to hear the tones and hear the specs of this thing, and then maybe when you start to consider that an ES-335 is gonna cost you three, four, five grand, this starts to look like really, really good value. Also, BAM are often running deals and sales, so you might be able to pick one of these up for less than that retail price anyway. Before we get into some of those specs, let's hear some of the clean tones with these glorious mini humbuckers. Mm.
So construction wise, obviously this is a semi hollow guitar. So we have a center block down the middle and then the sides are hollow. The body is mahogany and the top is spruce, which I think is really, really nice. Playing this thing even unplugged is such a joy. Uh, it's incredibly loud and resonant and has really, really nice acoustic qualities, just like a good semi hollow electric guitar should. The neck is a really nice piece of roasted maple, which I love, and the fretboard is rosewood. Interestingly though, it is a bolt-on neck with a 25 and a half inch scale length. So you are, you are getting a little bit of that Fender-esque snappiness with a ES style body and humbucker situation. A really interesting combination of feel and playability that I think combines really well. Onto the hardware, obviously up front we have this B70 Bigsby, which is really, really cool. I actually think this is the first Bigsby loaded guitar that I've properly spent some time with. And I love the subtle warbliness that it gives you. Along with the longer scale length, it's rock solid. Not had any tuning issues whatsoever. Another highlight when it comes to hardware on this guitar is the Baum Levitator Bridge. A really, really nice piece of engineering that Baum make themselves with roller saddles. So again, that just adds to the stability of the whole guitar. Finally, this guitar is loaded with Baum's own gold bucker mini humbuckers. Let's hear them with some more dirty tones. So if you get a black leaper tone, you get mini humbuckers like this one. If you choose the blue one, you get P90s. I went with the black because I think it looks like a tuxedo, but also I wanted to get slightly closer to that ES tone with the humbuckers. And the pickups are really great, which seems to be a theme across all of Bound's guitars. I would say these pickups are ever so slightly higher output than a true vintage style mini humbucker, but I still definitely wouldn't call them high output pickups. They've got plenty of oomph to rock out as hard as you like, but also remain clear and delicate enough for sparkly cleans. The neck pickup can be nice round and fruity, but still clear, and the bridge pickup has plenty of bite. All while retaining a really beautiful acoustic quality that you just cannot get from a solid body guitar. Thank you. 
So Colour Me impressed yet again with a bound guitar. I really like this one. There absolutely is something special when it comes to semi-hollow guitars over solid body guitars. And this is just a prime example of that sort of guitar. Arguably it's gonna turn more heads at gigs as well. This is a really unique and cool looking guitar. Unfortunately though, you are gonna have to wear a tux or your finest frock just to keep up with this thing. 